Imagine that you are living in the 2035 year, and you may visit a smart linear city specifically designed to have no streets, cars, or carbon emissions. How does it sound to you? Pretty ironic and iconic, right? Now imagine the same city with top-class technology. Like the one or maybe better than the movies you've seen in the name of futuristic innovations. Quite difficult to imagine, right? For your information, it can be possible with the futuristic sci-fi city of Neon City, called The Line in Saudi Arabia. Neon City on completion will raise the standards of architecture in the entire world. To simplify, it will not only make Neon City a smart city but a technology-fueled city for an outstanding tourism experience. But why? Truthfully, it is a PR strategy to show the world that Saudi Arabia is a country from which the future of innovation comes today. Their intention is not to impress the world but to get recognition as the top innovative country. How likely did you hear about this project? There are chances that you may have heard about this proposed smart city project by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman at the Future Investment Initiative Conference in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, on October 24, 2017. Now let me tell you about Mohammed bin Salman, His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Salman is the Crown Prince, Prime Minister, and Chairman of the NEOM Board of Directors of Saudi Arabia. He was the one who announced this project back on January 10, 2021, in a presentation that was broadcast on state television. When he first announced the construction of Neom City in Tabuk province in northwestern Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Salman was born as the oldest of six children to Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz and his third wife, Fata bint Falat al-Hithlain. Coming back to the main topic, now the question is, what's so special about this city? Why and how is it so futuristic? Also, you might be wondering what the top factors of this futuristic sci-fi project would be. For that, keep watching. This video is going to be very informative about this topic. Neom the Line Saudi Arabia is a 170 km long city that is a part of the Saudi Vision from the year 2030 project. What is Saudi Vision 2030? Saudi Vision 2030 is a strategic framework to reduce Saudi Arabia's dependence on oil. In other words, the government is trying to invest in other economy-generating factors to shift from oil dependency to other trades. Neom City The Line is one of those projects that can help the government in this goal successfully. Saudi Arabia claims that Neom City will create 380,000 jobs and add $48 billion to the gross domestic product. It is a $500 billion project which is 170 kilometers long but only 200 meters wide. Sounds interesting, right? It is the first of its kind of project development in Neom. Saudi Arabia further claims as it's a planned city, the city can accommodate a population of more than 9 million residents. The core motive of its design is to give residents an experience of living in harmony with nature, open spaces, parks, gardens, and sustainable food production. This community will be technologically advanced. Businesses and communities will be connected with a digital framework. Aim for the project. The project aims to tackle the issue of mass urbanization and environmental degradation. Neom City's environmental strategy will focus on five fundamental principles, understand, sustain, protect, inspire and enhance. The new city will promote a holistic conservation view and save local natural beauty. Want to know what's crazier about this giant project? The whole project will stretch across 26,000 square kilometers of desert. This mega project will work with renewable energy sources, mainly with wind and solar energy. There are plans to use robots for various functions, such as security, logistics, home delivery, and caregiving. With Saudi Vision 2030, the governing power is claiming to diversify its economy and also develop public service sectors in the upcoming time. They are also initiating this project to reduce Saudi Arabia's dependence on oil. In simple words, Saudi Arabia is planning to be an example of innovation in front of the whole world with this one gigantic project. The governing power also claims to complete its first phase by 2025. According to Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the city will operate independently from the existing governmental framework with its tax and labor laws and an autonomous judicial system. It will be a self-sufficient city existing as a country, within a country in Saudi Arabia. What will Neon the Line offer to its residents on completion? The zero-car environment is part of a 100% sustainable transport system with zero pollution. Reduced commutes will create more time for leisure. Not paying for expenses like car insurance, fuel and parking will mean higher disposable incomes for citizens. That means more financial benefits. 
Advanced tech planning logistics and modular construction will enable efficient delivery of the line. And the community will live close to and in harmony with nature, which will be 95% untouched by urbanization. Our vertical garden city will mean you are always only two minutes from nature. This project will offer nearly 400,000 jobs to its residents on completion. About its structure and geography, according to the given proposal, the architectural concept of the line will have three layers in particular. The top layer would be for pedestrians, another one for underground infrastructure and another underground layer for transportation. So far, the engineering of Neom City seems outstanding and out of the box from many angles. The underground layer for transportation will have a rail system to cover the entire city from the starting point to the end in 20 minutes. The average speed of this train would be 512 km per hour. That's to be honest, very impressive, in other words, beyond expectations. Do you know that on completion, the line in Saudi Arabia will be one of the largest buildings in the world? So far, Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world and will remain the tallest because there is no other tall building in comparison. As geographical location, the line holds a lot of advantages because of its location. It would be easy to convert low-cost solar and wind energy. High levels of cost-effective renewable electricity are available in a few countries worldwide. Let's discuss the motives behind this project, of Neom City the line from Saudi Arabia. According to Mohammed bin Salman, this project of Neom City will tackle many challenges humans face in urban life today. It will eventually provide alternative ways to live a healthy, happy life. It is impossible to ignore world environmental crises, and the line is a solution to all those problems in many ways. The carbon emissions problem is widespread everywhere in the world. But in Neom City, the carbon emissions will be none. As there will be no cars, the air quality will be purer. There will be no accidents as well because of traffic. Neom the line is practically a new way of living for future generations. It will work on 100% renewable energy, which means the pollution will be minimal. The line in Saudi Arabia will be an experience worth having for all people at least once. One more motive behind the line is to preserve land while focusing on development. With the development of Neom City, the government will conquer two problems altogether. And the first will be innovation and development. And the second is preservation of the environment while innovation and development. What will be the impact of Neom City on the whole world? Neom the line in Saudi Arabia will set an example in front of the world. You might be thinking, what kind of example? Particularly the example of futuristic urban planning. The world needs relaxation from many problems, and one of them is current urban living practices. Neom City is a solution to that urban planning. At least, that is what the government of Saudi Arabia claims. The line is an alternative to the current urban living practices and will be an outlook for future urban living practices. The idea of layering city functions vertically while giving people the possibility of moving seamlessly in three dimensions, up, down, or across to access them, is a concept referred to as zero-gravity urbanism. That is what the advancement of urban living should be. To conclude, it can be said that the line project in Saudi Arabia has a very straightforward plan of development without harming the environmental background. Hopefully, you enjoyed this informative session about the line Neon City. For now, this is it for today. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel for more informative content. By subscribing, you can watch our new videos in your feed. Till next time.